This is a small sample of approximately 15, maybe 10 grams of HMTD uh, that's been kept in uh, it's been kept in in the fridge. So that's at around 7 degrees C for roughly nine months. Um, what I want to show you today is I don't know if you can pick it up, but the 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 these weird little black marks it's like black pitting in it that is clearly some form of degeneration or, or at least um, some kind of molecular change uh, either way I'm going to do um, some experiments on it to see if it's more or less uh, stable as a, as a result of it somehow I think it's more I think it's more instable. Either way, you can see them there, right? Just little. Where, where do I start with that? There. Focus on that. Come on, focus on that. Oh, damn it, man. I'm trying, I'm trying. There it is. Yeah, I'm spinning it for you. Try keeping it focused. There's more of them. Uh, either way, those were not initially there after the first, uh, after after I synthesized it and then put it in the water. I'm a, I would imagine it's due to uh, the the compounds that they throw in the water uh, supply. I don't know if they put in fluorine or what's the word? Fluorine, they probably there's probably magnesium and sodium ions. It's something like that. There'll be compounds where the magnesium, sodium and fluorine molecules have uh, some are uh, reacted with the HMTD. I'm, I must say I'm very scared of this um, little jar. But either way, that's it's. I'm sure the guys out there who are um, into explosives, wall, or energetic materials anyway, will be find it interesting. I hope you do.